Well, what do you have planned for this holiday weekend? Did you know this Labor Day weekend, actually every Labor Day weekend, is one of the most popular painting weekends in all of the year. In fact, uh, it's the biggest weekend for paint sales. And joining us to find the perfect color, Clint August, our approved home pros, joining us this morning. Clint, you and I have something in common. Um, mine's yes. on my toes, though. Yeah, mine are on the fingers, and I'm gonna share <laughs> with you later why I have this uh, nail polish on my hands. We'll get to that. We have Harry Schwartz from the downtown Ace Hardware location, one of 11 San Diego locations, and also, of course, our resident pro every week on the Home Pro Show, Greg Cantor with Murray Lampert Design Build Remodel. Listen, guys, uh, a lot of people may not associate uh, Ace with paint, but you guys have a ton and you've got a great selection. And Labor Day weekend, it's all the weekend warriors, far more, you know, I'm lazy, I won't do it, but I know a lot of guys will. Right. So three day weekend, it's a perfect time to do some painting, and I recommend putting together a plan a list of rooms and all that stuff. Harry brought all this stuff here to show us, you know, the prep and how to go about it. So let's start from here with the painting. Sure, absolutely. So um, as as was said, Labor Day weekend's a great time to do some painting. You've got a long weekend and good time to pick a project. You want to start with your color selection and don't rely on the little chips that you get at the paint store or at an Ace Hardware store. Go ahead and get a pint sample. Get yourself a sample board and some foam, sp foam brushes and paint up a nice two by two board and put that up on the wall to see how you're going to like it. Once you've selected your paint, then the next step is to figure out how much paint do you need. And an easy rule of thumb is what's the longest room, longest wall in the room, measure that times its height, and whatever that is, multiply it by four, and you can get 400 square feet in a gallon, from a gallon of paint. But someone could just bring their measurements down to your store Absolutely. and then you can help them. Just the measure your longest wall, bring that measurement down to us, and we'll calculate how much paint you'll need. Once you're ready to get started, the first thing you're going to do is prep your walls, and that includes doing some repair work, maybe uh, patching up holes that were there from picture uh, hanging or whatever it might be. Real simple, you just need some spackle and a putty knife. You're going to sand that down a little bit once it's dry so that it doesn't leave a mark uh, when you go over and do and your this painting. this is fast drying stuff, right? It is fast drying, and we also now have the Patch Plus Primer, so you don't have to prime it. Normally, you would prime any repair that you do because the paint will just suck up into it if you don't. Next step is to, once you've done the sanding and removed the imperfections, you gotta do some cleanup work. You can use just a regular Swiffer duster if you have that at home, or some tack cloth is available at any Ace Hardware store. So get all store. the dust off the walls. Get the dust off the wall, exactly. The next step in prep is cleaning the wall with a degreaser or a TSP or something like that to remove, especially in a kitchen or bathroom. Now you're ready to do the final prep work and that's doing the taping. And you're gonna tape up your outlets, anywhere where you're gonna have uh, paint colors that are matching up to each other. The Scotch blue tape is the best way to go. One tip, you don't have to tape up your windows if you're gonna be painting trim. It's easier to just use a razor blade uh, and a scraper afterwards and scrape the glass and get the paint off there really easy. That's a good tip. Absolutely. Another t good tip is use a canvas drop cloth. People typically wanna use the plastic sheeting drop cloth, but the downside to that is number one, it's slippery, and number two, the paint doesn't dry when it goes onto that plastic drop cloth, so you end up tracking it around the house on your shoes. Well, that's a lot that, easier yeah. to move around when you go exactly. from room to room. Exactly, and you don't need to cover your full floor unless you're doing your ceiling. You just need a strip against the wall. So a good canvas drop cloth is the way to go there. Now you've got your, you got to pick out your tools. First thing you want to do is don't go cheap on your tools. You want to get a good roller and a good brush. There's no sense in spending a few hundred dollars on paint and the hours to do it if you're going to only spend a couple bucks on your and roller do the and your right brush. roller for the right type of exactly. texture. Exactly. There right? are different rollers based on your texture from a quarter inch for the smooth surfaces um, all the way up to a one inch for a very rough surface. Another tip on a roller is when you use a new roller cover, you want to get the fuzz off of it before you start painting. And there's a couple ways to do that. One is you can just go ahead and wash it and just rub your hand on it with some water and a little bit of liquid soap. You can use it wet. Just get all that water out of it and you can go ahead and start painting. Another way is to just take some blue tape, wrap it around it, and get all the fuzz off of it just like if That's you were really removing cat. All right, so we do have a question through uh, hashtag home pro help. Is it better to do multiple coats of a bold color or use a primer first or both? and they're covering beige. So if you're covering a beige wall and it doesn't have any stains or marks or anything on it, a good paint and primer in one, even in a bold color, a couple of coats and you'll cover that beige perfectly. All right, so Harry Schwartz from downtown Ace Hardware, one of 11 locations, Greg Cantor from Murray Lampard uh, Design Build Remodel. So we've got Can't Find My Checkbook, we've got I Eat Mainly Lobster, and My Vampire is Buff. OPI's gotten together with Clark and Kensington with Ace Hardware. There's 18 colors and they're growing. That's correct. But look at this, look at this fantastic job here, right? Yeah, and remember, they've got a great Labor Day sale going on this weekend, too. You want to make sure that you go to Ace Hardware, one of the 11 uh, locations, because that's where you're going to get some great deals on some great paint. Thank you, Harry. Thank you.
Clint, I have to tell you, whoever did that paint job, uh, fantastic, may have a side job in nails, but seriously, that can't find my checkbook. Fantastic turquoise color, big, bold color. Uh, great advice, fantastic tips for those weekend warriors that want to put a fresh coat of paint on. And again, if you want to find out more from Clint and the guys, check out ApprovedHomePros.com. Thanks, guys. Thank you.